What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create a bookcase family. So we are going to create this part by part. So the first part of this uh, bookcase family series is we're going to learn how to create the skeleton and then add the parameters and types of our family. So let's go to the basic on starting our family. So we need to learn how to place our reference planes and then adding parameters. And then we are going to create family type. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to create a new family here. So new family. And then I'm going to go to my work file here. I'm going to use the furniture here. Or you can also use the default furniture template in your folder okay it's just the same so i'm gonna select your open and there you go so by default when you create a family in the family editor you will have here on the reference level or ref level view you're gonna have here two reference plane so you have the center left right reference plane and then the center front back so you can rename this reference plane so which is what we are going to do first so i'm going to rename this so let's say this will gonna be the back reference plane of my bookcase family so i'm gonna select this one and then let's go to properties and then here you can change it so you can change the name so let's say that we're gonna be the back or any other name that you want and then for the ease reference, so it has something to do with dimensioning our family. So for the ease reference, I'm going to make this, of course, that's my back. So back, back. Okay, and then I select your apply. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that reference plane is like the skeleton of your uh, family. Okay, so we need to set up this reference plane or the skeleton of our family so that we'll be able to uh, perfectly modify the family when we uh, apply some changes like the height, like the width, or like the length of our family. So we need to properly create the reference planes of our family or the skeleton of our family. So I'm going to add uh, reference planes here. So I go to the create. And then from the work plane panel, you can see, uh, or on the datum panel, you can see the reference planes. You can also type RP for reference plane. Just click that. And then I'm going to create a couple of uh, reference plane here. So on my left side, and then on the right side, and then one below. That's it. And then I select here, modify. And just like what we did on our back, reference plane i didn't change this one i don't need to okay so for this one i'm gonna change this we're gonna be the right okay so right and then for the east reference that we're gonna be right as well and then this is left reference plane oops sorry so left this is left and then this is uh, this is the back, so this will gonna be the front. So name uh, front is reference front, and then apply, and there you go. Okay, so this is the top uh, top view of our uh, reference plane on our ref level. So this will gonna be the top view. So let's work on the reference plane for our front view. So that's why I'm going to change the view here to front elevation. Just double click front. And then here, this is already the reference plane that we created. So this is the right. This is the uh, left. Okay, so let's add a reference plane here for our top reference plane. So let's go to create reference plane going to pick one here i'm going to pick another uh, point here modify let's click this reference plane and then let's select properties let's change the name so this will going to be the top and then the east reference this is going to be the top and then apply okay so after we create our reference plane so we are now going to put some controls on our bones 
or the skeleton of our family. So, we are going to add parameters. Okay? So, to add parameters, so we are going to place first dimension. So, let's start on our front elevation since we are already on the front elevation. So, from my uh, quick access toolbar, I'm going to select here align dimension or you can also type di as a shortcut for align dimension so let's click this one and then i'm gonna pick here the bottom reference level and then the top reference plane and then i'm just gonna pick here All right okay so that's the dimension now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to assign this as my height parameter so to do that, so let me select here modify. I'm going to select this dimension and then from the label dimension panel, I'm going to click this create parameter. So let's click that and then let's put the name here. So I'm going to call this as the height. And then I'll be using, um, I want to put this height parameter inside the type properties. Type properties is like when you click edit type and then there's a dialog box that will appear that is your type properties. So instance properties is this one. Okay, so this is your instance properties. So if you click edit type, it will open up your type properties. So now for my height parameter i want that to put in my uh, type properties that's my preference so but you can also put that in the instance properties uh, if you want okay so type properties put it under the dimension group and then i'll select here okay there you go okay and then after that you can now control this height so if you want to try if your bones here or this skeleton part is working, you can change the height. So let's try to change the height. So let's say I want 7 feet and then enter. So as you can see, your reference plane is now moving according to the height that you are specifying, right? So we know that our uh, height parameter with respect to our reference planes here is now working properly. So that's for my height. So let's go back to our reference level or ref level to our top view. And then we're going to put here also our parameter. So we want to control the width. We want to control the length because we already have control for the height. Okay, so to add parameter, same procedure. So I'm going to select align dimension. And then I'm going to select here the left. And then I'm going to click the center and then I'm going to click the right and then I click outside. And then as you can see, there's an EQ here. So it's equality. So let's toggle that equality. So let's click that. And as you can see, there's an EQ, EQ here. So what happens is if I try to move this, if I click this and then drag, so you can see the other side is also following because they are equal, right? Okay, so let us put some uh, dimension. So let's click here, one, two, and then click outside. And then click modify. Now for this dimension, I want to call this one as length. So I select this, click create parameter, and then let's call this length. Again, type properties, group parameter under dimensions, and then okay. Okay, right. And now for my width here, so let me just put dimension. So one, two, click, modify, let's click this, create, and then this will going to be my width. Type properties, dimensions group, okay, there you go. So again, let's try to flex our reference planes or the bones of our family if it is working properly. So let's change the length here. So let's say I want 5 feet, enter. It's changing. How about the width? Let's say this is 3, enter. So it's working properly. 2, enter. Right? So that's now the skeleton of our family. Now, after we create parameters, so we are now going to create our uh, family types. Okay, so we are going to create family types here. So to do that, 
Let's click this icon here from the properties panel. You can see here family types. So let's click that one. And then after that, on our family types, as you can see, these are the three parameters that we created, but we are going to create a family type here by clicking this new type icon here. So let's click this. So let's say I'm going to call this 72 by let's say 18 by 48. Okay. And then I'll select here. Okay. Okay, and then after that, for the height, let me just change this to uh, one space six. That means one foot, six inches. And then for the length, I'm going to change this to six feet. Enter. And then for the width, four feet. Enter. Okay, so that is for my 72 inches by 18 by 48. Okay, so that's my first type. And then I'll select here apply. As you can see on our background here, it's also changed, right? Okay, so let's create a couple of uh, types. So let's create a new one. Okay, so let's say I, I will call this 36 by uh, 12 by 36 and then okay and then for the height one foot uh, for the length three feet and then three feet as well okay so that is for our 36 by 12 by 36 inches so don't forget to select apply and you can you can see that our skeleton or reference planes is working pro uh, properly so let's create the last uh, type of our family here. So let's say, uh, for example, we are going to create 60 by uh, 18 by 60. Okay, so for the height, so that will going to be my 1 foot, 6 inches, and 5 feet, and then 5 feet, and then apply. There you go. So we now have three types of family that we can use when we load this family inside the project but we are not yet done okay so we still have a lot of things that needs to be done so we are we are just on the first step which is creating the skeleton putting some parameters and creating this family type and then i'll select here okay and there you go okay so that's it for this uh, first part of the exercise. On our uh, next video, we are going to uh, create the bookcase panels. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.